Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening and welcome to the Bushfield Sports Centre here in the beautiful city of Peterborough. Panax Promotions and Kevin Sanders proudly present a night of IBO World Championship Boxing. Sponsored here by SecondsOut.com and live and exclusive here on Sky Sports. You've joined us for the very best ringside seat in the business. All the officials have been appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control, our supervisor, Mr. Robert Smith. Timekeeper, Mr. Bob Edgeworth. And referee in charge of the action is John Keane of Wellingborough. Firstly, and introducing to you, fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the blue trunks, trimmed with white, and weighed in at 11 stone, 13 and 3 quarter pounds. Bringing a 13 fight record, 11 wins, two inside the scheduled distance, one loss, one draw. Coming to the ring as the British Masters champion and the current Southern Area Super Middleweight champion from Southampton, Matthew Bonney. And across the ring, fighting under the red corner, he's wearing the black trunks, trimmed with red, and weighed in at 11 stone, 13 pounds. Bringing an 11 fight record, nine wins, a four inside the scheduled distance, and only two defeats. He's from Leicester, please welcome Neil Linfer. Well, sports fans and Sky fans, this is 10 rounds of boxing. It's a title eliminator for the British Super Middleweight Championship. John Keane is the referee from Northampton. Very experienced at world level. You know what I expect to do. Right, shake hands about boxing. This is a big night for these two, hoping to break into the big picture on the British super middleweight scene. They're both below the top ten at the moment, it would have to be said. Neil Linford, and there in picture, Matthew Second Barney one. from Southampton, who's won 11 out of 13 so far. Barney's in the blue trucks, the black with the red stripe of Neil Linford, with big support here in Peterborough tonight. Does most of his training here with Kevin Sanders and Jez Brogan. They have a high opinion of him. He's won nine out of 11 so far. And for the 10th time in 12 fights, he's fighting on home territory, Glenn. Well, I think he'll enjoy that. That's, he will get some good support from him that will push him on. I noticed one thing straight away though with Linford, he seemed to come into the ring with a rather blackened left eye that obviously happened in sparring. Well that can often happen if you're getting tough sparring in the gym, you know, it's easy to mark up and just carry something into the ring. Maybe hoping that doesn't get any worse. Good right hand there for Barney, who can be awkward and spoil quite effectively. Only one defeat for him so far, that was against Delroy Leslie. He's looking sharper already than the last time we saw him in a rather dull draw with Paul Bowen. But this could be different style-wise. Let's hope so. Well, Bonny is carrying that left hand pretty low. He's looking to be fast with that punch, but that'll just give Linford a, a chance to get home with his right hand. Linford with a big reach. 23 years old yesterday, Linford, who's the one in the black trucks, remember? <laughs> Due to go ten rounds, this. The current British champion is David Starry from Suffolk, who is currently injured. We're told. <laughs> He's quite angry, that left eye of Linford, already. And he came into the fight with it looking not the worst for wear. Obviously got through the doctor at the way, in OK? He's in that bad, he will have had a, a medical check, but it does look, it, you know, it didn't take a lot if you get hit on it to, put, to start getting angry and swelling up again. Lively opening round between these two. There's some blood around by the, the side of the head. I'm not sure where that's come from, but certainly on the side of Linford's head towards the back. It looks like it's come from a cut by the ear of Barney. 
Vardy got a cut left ear, so there must have been some clash of heads, I guess, that's caused that. Vardy gets him with a right hand. Lots on the line for these two here. Biggest fight either of them have had so far. to Peterborough. Now, how did that cut happen in the first round? Was it a clash of heads or was it that punch from Barney? Corner, 10 seconds. And there's Guy a corner. short right hand going in from Linton, which may have done it, but out. damage like that normally is, is when heads rub together. Anyway, Barney has got a cut by the ear. He's the one that's got the damage. Nothing much to speak of so far. Second round in this eliminator for the British super middleweight power division. And which Britain has had a lot of success at the world level in recent times. Joe Calzaghi, still WBO champion. Glenn Catley's just lost the WBC version to Pingan Tobela of South Africa. Don't hold, Barney, don't hold. Blue trumps, remember? Matthew Barney of Southampton. Lippert gets it with a right hand. Every time he lands, you'll hear the cheers all around the arena. It's packed with his supporters. It's Barney who's doing the, the sharper work. In retreat, he's getting the better counters on through. Quick little punches going in from him. Good work with the jab from Barney. Finding some angles that's worrying Linford a little at the moment. Now Linford's thinking about his attack. Barney's well, been poking out the jab like that. Just not letting him get set. But Barney has to be careful carrying that left hand so low. Linford should be looking for the, the right cross. Seemed to be the punch, wouldn't it? Particularly when Barney is moving onto that right hand. This is the best part, Barney. Just going in that clockwise direction. Really just needs a, a step to the right from Linford and then throw the right hand. He's not doing that. He's following him around the ring. Sharper work, no doubt about it from 26-year-old Matthew Barney of Southampton so far. Going into this one, Linford was ranked 15th, uh, 14th, I beg your pardon, in the British rankings, and Barney, 15th. Latest rankings I saw, anyway. Don't think there'd been any since. These things are always a matter for some of That's better from Linford, just a little more positive. Yes, he needs to attack and put the pressure on Barney, but he's got to stop following him in straight lines. He's going to try and just use the lateral move and cut the ring off. Right, get back. <laughs> Barney winning this round for me so far. Three clip. Yes, I agree. Just a better work from Barney. He's done well so far, Matthew Barney. 
certainly won that second round and might have nicked the first as well. He did on Glenn's car, just looking across and cheating a little bit here. <laughs> Yes, the I can remember the ball time. Just in the shoulder, clean the punches a bit more of it. Championships and fought Marvin Hagler for the world title. He's here tonight, Tony Simpson. Maybe we'll grab a word with him shortly. We still miss him. Linford's over to that same Belgrade under the boxing club that produced Simpson and Chris Pye. Better work from him here at the start of the third. Needs to be more positive, doesn't he? Yes, he just needs some more aggression and needs to think a bit more. He's just following Bonnie in, and you know, Bonnie has got all the answers. <laughs> just rather walking onto that jab when he does come forward. Linford just maybe coming forward in straight lines a little. Possibly if he could just give Barney one or two angles, it might work better for him. in this one. He could work behind the jab and then bringing the right hand in from Barney. He's pretty accurate too so far. Looking sharp and on the top of his form so far Barney but there's a long way to go. Blood from the nose now of Linford. Linford's actually done some sparring in the past at the Nevada Partners gym in Las Vegas with uh, Fel Torrance. Famous American trainer giving him some advice. Torrance, he used to work with Eddie Foch. Still Barney who's getting the shots off quicker, who's the more busier and the more accurate. Right, get back. That's better from Linford, doubling up on the jab. <laughs> Seconds coming up of round three. <laughs> Tony said he's from the same club as Tony Sipson. I bet he wishes he had the same left too. This is Tony Sipson. <laughs> to the right hand, might be the punch as you said earlier, Glenn, that pays him a dividend or two. I've seen a lot of it so far. There it is. Mostly on the back foot, but still doing most of the accurate work. Yes, he's loose and he's better defensively. Although he holds that hand down, yeah, he's moving his head down. Right, where we are. Mentioning Tony Simpson, and uh, he's at ringside tonight. I covered a few of his fights. I'm glad to see Tony Simpson, and he's talking now with Ed Robinson. Tony, you come down to support Neil Linford. Yeah, I'm down here to support Neil. He's uh, watching him training for this fight. It's a big step up for him. Kevin's done a great job to get this fight, and um, hopefully he's going to do well tonight and bring, bring a title home to Leicester. And he's showing a good left hook, like yourself. Well, he is, yeah. He's, you know, he's nervous, but he's, he's doing a good job. So he's doing a very good job at the moment. At the moment. He's in great shape. I've, I've watched him working out. and In fact, I even got myself in, the, in, in, in me working, you know, sparred a, a bit of sparring with him in, in a week, couple of weeks ago. He about killed me, but... It's all good fun. <laughs> He's brought you back into the game a little bit. Well, I don't really go around watching too much boxing, but you know, Neil's from the same amateur boxing club as me, so he's doing well for the club, and it's um, as much as exciting for Leicester. Great, thank you. It's good to see him here. Did, did I hear that right? He actually did some sparring. I think he did, yes. Yeah. But not a comeback, is it? Well, we'd be glad to see him, but uh, <laughs> probably still do all right. <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> Fourth round of this one. Blue trunks of Matthew Barney, the black of Neil Linford. We've got Barney ahead in this so far. This eliminator for the British super middleweight title. And the winner here would go shooting up the British rankings. That's a good left hook back. 
from Lincoln. He needs to do something, doesn't he, to make a dent in Barley, just break his ring of confidence a bit. Yes, he does. He landed a couple of good left hooks at the beginning of this round. He needs to keep them coming. He needs to keep busy and just try and force, you know, force his strength on Barney. The times he gives Barney too much room to work. Starting to bring the left hook into play. Linford. Just needs to change the pattern to get the fans here the home win they want to see. Actually based in Leicester, Linford, which is uh, an hour or so away on the A47. Trains most of the time in Peterborough. He's bringing that left hook in more and more. Linford didn't see much of it for the first couple of rounds, but now he's starting to let that left hook go. Decent <laughs> body attack from Linford. He's doing rather better in this round. Barney not quite so effervescent. Barney choosing to lie inside close to Linford. And that suits Linford more. Barney better when he's moving around the ring. Particularly good left hook to the body. And there's another one. Coffee cap punch. And it puts Barney down. Big breakthrough from the Olympic. Barney down in the closing seconds of round four. Now, can he follow up here and show some finishing instincts, there's another one, this is going to end it I think, Barney might have had enough here, another wicked left hook to the body, well Tony Simpson taught him something didn't he, there is that left hook, Barney's in big trouble, he needs to hear the end of this round, look at the countdown, last 10 seconds, the body shots have done it for the Olympic. Dramatic developments and look at Barney come back with a cluster at the end of a terrific round. Well, you'll need this minute now, Matthew Barney. Yes, good left hooks. One to the head, which brought that that the elbow up, then just a little gap there, and he brought the shot in. Really was. There's the one to head, sees the gap, and whips that one in. That was a, a nice combination. That was a brilliant punch from Neil Linford. Absolute textbook stuff, that. Then you get the final right hand behind that. We really did that so well. The left two to the head, textbook stuff, just bringing the, the glove up, saw the gap, and then putting the, the right hook underneath. Oh, well, I like what I saw there, because that was class, wasn't it, that shot? It was good, it was textbook stuff, is what you learn. He's thinking on his feet, and that got nice reflexes there to get that punch in. Here's the fifth round. Lippert just went a little lethargic early. Really building a bridge in for himself in that fourth round. Now, can he follow it up in the fifth? Barney started so well. How much did that body shot knock out of him? Usually, the effect of those body shots can be pretty devastating. Yep, it <laughs> certainly can. But he knows he can hurt Barney now, and that'll give him a big air of confidence. <laughs> Lincoln, who's had the confidence, was shaken by a third round stoppage defeat by Jason Barker last year. Though the camps say that uh, he received an accidental headbutt that caused him a lot of trouble. In that contest. <laughs> Linford looks the man here with the extra power. He's not got a big knockout record or anything like it. Four stoppages in nine wins so far. of a shot and put Barney on the floor. That's a good right cross too. Well, 
that's what I think he's got to try and bring in more because now Barney will be expecting the left hook. He already keeps his left hand very low, so this is where really Olympus goes to putting everything behind that right hand. He's been a bit reticent to throw that shot so far. Quite sure why. He's got things under control, and he might be right. Definite change in the pattern, then. Oh, very much so. He looks stronger, he looks sharper, keeping the centre of the ring now. Neil Limpid. He has some trouble looks sometimes in Barney. But really, I think Barney needs to get that jab working again. He's got that. He's been too close into Limpid, and that's what's given him the opportunity to get those good punches on. Very close to his ribs to stop another possible left hook from exploding. We'll be looking for that shot. Sunday Sky Sports 3 from 9, more live from the NFL, it's the Washington Redskins against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, exclusively live Sky Sports 3 from 9 on Sunday evening. Damien Kelly topping the bill here in Peterborough after this spicy super middleweight eliminator, round 6 with Glenn. Yeah, it's not a bad fight, is it? Round 6 coming up, Black Trunks, Neil Linford day after his 23rd birthday. There are more body shots from the blue of Matthew Barney from Southampton. This has produced too many fighters down the years down in Southampton. Only one of them, though, Gary Cooper, is fighting uh, Tony Wilson. Famous incident. I think Wilson's mum came in and uh, attacked McCarthy with a shoe. Didn't like my son getting beat. on the gloves of Neil Linford here. Just come loose. How do you see this at the moment, Glenn? How do you see it? Well, I've got this by level. I'll give um, Matthew Barney the first three rounds and then a 10-8. Linford in the fourth and the last one either, so it, it's all square on my card. And I've got Linford just ahead going into this round. The 10 8 round for the knockdown. But it's close, no doubt about it. 
John Keane doing the scoring, the referee here from Northamptonshire. He's uh, scored Oscar De La Hoya fights in the past. There's certainly more an air of confidence about Neil Limpard now. He's not standing off, he's looking to, to get close to Bond, he's looking to get his shots on. He's got a bit of damage under the right eye developing, maybe Limpard though. He's trying to get a closer look at that. He doesn't need that. Might be quiet around, but Limpard doing well. Welcome back to Peterborough. Damian Kelly fighting tonight, topping the bill. Big flyweight fight for him. That comes up. There's the uh, British super middleweight rankings led by Joe Calzaghe and Corner. Glenn Cathy with Richie Woodall and Robin Reed in there. David Starry, the British champion at five. Neither of these two has yet in the top ten, but they'd certainly be knocking on the door. The winner tonight. Limpard in the black trunks hold him, Barney, hold from Leicester. We think it's just ahead at this point now after Matthew Barney's good start. This is the body shot again, and Barney didn't he come back well with those right hands. Took the body shots much better that time. Yes, he did. Again for think, then. He fired straight back with that. Well, I think Limpard hasn't got to concentrate too much on that body shot. For me, he should be looking more for the right hand, which has been glaring open the, the chin of Bonnie from that left side. A mixture of both might work pretty well from left hook to body right across the head. It's just a bit more variety than he's shown. He's pretty much the same thing over and over. <laughs> They both want this so badly. He was a, a good amateur, some good junior form, good championships. So, you know, he, he's got a bit of talent. And what he hasn't got is any good sticky tape for those uh, gloves because the tape's come loose again. The referee steps in. Bonnie's starting to try and busy himself up, get that jab working a bit more, and use his footwork. Here we go. <laughs> New technology in the year 2000. It's amazing how often that happens, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is. Trying to get a left hook to the body off there, but just not as accurate. It's looking a little puppy around the face now, Barney. Bonnie's had a bit more success in this round. He's been, he's been pretty busy getting his shots off. Gathering up on the jab. From this, a big right hand from Barney, right on the bell. Not after it, I thought. Some of the crowd did, but I thought it was okay. Meanwhile, backstage, here's 
one of the neatest and most precise little boxes in the whole of the British Isles. Damien Kelly from Belfast fighting in an IBO flyweight championship fight tonight, challenging Zolile Ambici from East London in South Africa. He's a useful fighter, and it's uh, a pretty big test for Kelly on the way to what he hopes will be top world honours down the line. There's what the computer says so far. Linford has landed, what is that, 12 more. Ten Better economy from him too. Which means he's just kicking his punches. Rather better than Barry. But I think the figures really do show that there's not a great deal in this. Typically, we separated them in the last with Barney starting to do more and then the moon dropping off a bit with his work. Good attack here from Barney. Let him go with some hooks. He's come back well, Matthew Barney. Linford gets him with a left hook. Might be hurt by that. Certainly wants to hold on for a moment. Just a short little punch. Sharp little shot going in there from Limpet. He's trying to raise his game again. Trademark left hook to the body. Come on, lad, work it out. Work it out. Don't go, man. Don't go. a light heavyweight recently because he weighed 12, 4, 12, 5 his two most recent fights but the captain insists he is a super middle and they're both working hard in this round each one getting a bit of success good combinations going in hard to separate them in this session so far Respectable effort here in this fight build as an eliminator for the British Championship. Took from Linford. There was good action in the early part of the round with either of them having coming back with good combinations. Corners, but I think just towards seconds. the end, it was Matthew Nine Barney corners. who was doing the better work and starting Second to use that jab again that probably won him the round. Ninth round of ten. And this pretty super middleweight title eliminator. Black trunks from Neil Linford of Leicester. Then has it level, I got Linford just ahead. Oh, 
Bucks. They're pretty well matched though, these two, aren't they? Yes, they are matched well. And, uh, you know, we thought this one may, may not gel well with the Stars, but it's been quite the opposite. It's been a, a good contest, uh, well fought. Pushing hard, he's trying to get the shots on. Maybe Barney feeling the effects of this contest more. He's just waiting. And I don't really think you know, this is fight. This fight's too close for either one of them to be waiting around. This is being first, as they say here, Linford. In fact, the exact reverse of what we saw in the first two rounds. Well, if he does go on and win, this will be a very, very important victory for Linford, as it would be for Barney. They can hike themselves up in the British rankings. And maybe think about having a crack at some of those fighters in the top ten. Other good youngsters around in this division, particularly Brian McGee, the uh, good Irishman. Well, I think a win here would really push either one of them on quite a bit. Well, I've just got a one point ahead for Limford, 86, 85, so still all, all to fight for. I've got it a wee bit wider for Limford, three points ahead. But the only person that matters is the referee, John Keane. Just a bit of a cut under the Sprays for Linford down. A touch glance. It's been a good contest, this, between these two. Not let anybody down, and they'll really go for it here in this last round. Both of them can see the finishing post. And they both may feel that the result could depend on this final three minutes. Black trucks, remember, Neil Linford. Sorry to keep repeating that, but you might be unfamiliar with both of these two. Crowd are really going to try and get behind Limpid, see if he can pull something big out in the last round. Just the one knockdown in the contest, Barney on the floor in round four. Getting pretty grueling for both of them now, I guess. Yes, 
Memphis at all, but smothering their work inside. Memphis trying to get free and get shots and claws, but Barney falling into him. Ten rounds of boxing, an eliminator for the British Super Middleweight Championship. Referee John Keane has scored the contest. For Barney, 93 points. For Linford, 98 points. Your winner of the eliminator for the British Super Middleweight Championship from Leicester, Neil Linford. There's a five point margin. And please do your presentation. About it, but he'll be pleased that uh, one of the young men he advises has come through here and climbed the British super middleweight rankings with this win.